Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a GUI web browser using Python. So first of all, let's talk about the functionality of what this program will do for you. So there are two main functions that this program will perform. The first is Google search. So we'll have one set of a entry box and a button. So the user will enter the term that they want to search in the entry box and then press that button and they will get the desired Google search result. Okay, so this is the first task that this program will perform and the second task is customize shortcut buttons. Okay, so just like in your browser, you can add customized shortcut buttons like for Facebook, Gmail, Quora, whatever website shortcuts you want to add, you can add to that GUI. Okay, so these are the two functions that you can perform using this GUI. So let's start off first with installing the packages. So we'll be using Kinter to create our GUI. So no need to install Kinter. Our second package is Selenium because we are going to do some web scrapping. So we have to install selenium so just go to your command prompt and just write pip install selenium okay so i guess this is the right spelling okay so just install this package and other than selenium you also need a web driver so we'll use mozzarella firefox therefore we need our gecko driver so just go to the browser that you are using and then just write gecko driver and then press enter so you'll see the first or second search result as this github link so click on that then you'll be redirected to this page so scroll down a little bit and you will get the assets section now you have to install the compressed file according to your system so i am using windows 32 bit so i'll install this zip package and unzip that and you will get two files first is an application and second is a text file so copy that application and go to um, now let me go to my system here okay so so go to c drive then go to users then your username then go to app data follow along with me because this is gonna be a long path okay so c drive users username app data then locals then we are gonna go to programs then in python then your python uh, version then you have to just paste that application here I have already pasted there somewhere. Yeah, this is it. This was the Gecko driver application that you need to copy paste over here. Okay, so now the preparation for our program is done. Now our main task is to write the program. Okay, so before that, I want to talk something with you. So if you are interested in social media marketing or you just want to know that how I grew my YouTube channel or my Instagram channel, my Instagram page is having like 88,000 followers. Now, I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you that I know how things work. So if you want to learn that how these things work, then you can join my channel membership. Now, this is totally optional because this channel membership won't affect any of my regular contents all my tutorials all my projects everything will work as they used to work before just you have a opportunity to learn something new and in that social media marketing videos i won't discuss any cheat there because i have grown all my social media platforms without using any paid help okay i've used only organic method to grow them okay so now let's get back to our project
okay so now we are into our editor so our first task is to import our required libraries that is selenium kinter and time okay Okay, so now we are done importing our packages. So let's divide this project into two parts. Our first task will be to create our GUI and in the second part, we'll do all other web scrapping and all other work there. Okay, so now we'll add three elements in our project. First is the entry boss where user will enter the term they want to search. Second is the button upon clicking of which the google search will happen and the third button is your shortcut so i'll show only one shortcut button you can add as many as you want so let's create those elements so first of all i'm gonna create the kinta instance so kinta there shouldn't be any zero inside okay so then we'll define that what will be the geometry or uh, the height and width of our kinter window so let's say 450 into uh, 200 because i have already created this program and i know that this dimension is perfect for my project okay now we'll create our first uh, element which is our entry box actually let's create a label also so that we can ask the user make sure that this l is capital then we'll define that what will be the font size and font style so let's say times new roman so this will be times and the size will be let's say 18 or let's say 15 okay now let's place our uh, label onto a certain position let's say on the uh, x axis of 10 and the y axis let's say 10 so i'll show you how these things are actually present on our gui so don't panic then our second element is our entry box so let me create the entry box here so this will be entry one now you can play with this geometry and dimension as you want okay so now let's create our third and fourth elements which are buttons so v1 and the command or the function that this button will trigger is let's say search result so we'll create this function in just a bit so this will be search result and the width of our button is let's say 12 and the bg color or the actual color of this button is let's say gray okay so this should be a string okay so now let's place our button so b1 dot place uh place at the dimension let's say x is equal to 150 and y is equal to 50 again i have tested these coordinates you can name you can select whatever you want now let's create the second one so i'll simply copy this one and paste it here okay so i'll change the names as well as the values inside let's say our shortcut button is for facebook okay and the function that this button will trigger is also facebook and the only thing that we need to change here is the uh, coordinate at which this will be placed so let's say 150 100 now we are gonna close our window main loop so let's save this and let's run our program 
so we are getting some error which is uh very much understandable because we haven't created these functions so let's define our search result function first and then we will write nothing inside just creating these functions and our second function was facebook again we'll print nothing inside let's save this and let's run this again and there you can see that this is our not that beautiful looking but still beautiful looking gui so user will enter the term in this entry box and then press this search button and after this search button is pressed a web browser will open which is firefox and that search term will be displayed to the user and if the user clicks this button then again the web browser will open and facebook.com website will be open okay so now you can create multiple uh, shortcut windows if you want so we have created our front end now let's work on our back end so our first task is to create our web driver instance so let's create a variable uh, bot and we'll name this as web driver dot firefox make sure that this f is capital and then we'll do bot dot get and we have to get uh, google here so i'll go and simply write google and just copy and paste this url over here okay now after we have opened uh, google.com we want to sleep for 10 second in case your internet connection is slow and it took some time to open google so if this is not present then the program will raise an error because it was not able to find the search element which we are gonna just define so just wait now after this we'll close our window because we don't need it anymore then let's create a variable let's say result and then result is equal to bot dot find by the element uh, name so element by name actually by name and then let's see that what is the uh, element name so we'll press left click here of the mouse and then go to inspect so let's check that what is the id and name for this search button here so this is somewhere here and okay okay so now i finally i guess find out that what is happening here so after you go to inspect you go to this search option here and there you can see that the no, that the name is q here so we want to enter q because this is the element that we want to grab and then we'll first of all clear if something is already present although this is not a possibility still so this will clear if anything is already written so result dot clear and then we'll enter the value from our uh, entry widget so result dot send uh, it should be dot here dot send uh, keys and the value inside will be entry one dot get so we are getting the value from our entry one widget 
and then after this what we'll simply do is we'll uh, just press our enter button so we'll do send keys and then we'll use our uh, common keys method from selenium web driver keys dot uh, return make sure that all alphabets are capital in return okay so now let's run this and see that whether it's working or not so I'll simply search Python and then press this button this will take some time if your system is slow and I'm working on a very slow system so I'll probably skip this part so there you can see this is a new window and Google is getting open this is why I added that 10 second delay because I know my system is very slow so there you can see it's very slow and now we are at the Google home page so we are waiting for 10 seconds so that our keyword is added to this search button here we are getting no so there you can see Python is written and Python is searched so our first level is cleared we have created a GUI which will search Google for us okay so now let's close this and yes i want to close all the tabs close this one also okay so now our second task is to simply create some shortcut buttons so this is actually very simple so what i'll do is i'll copy some of some of the lines from here only two lines from here and then paste it into our facebook function okay and instead of google.com it will be facebook.com uh, I guess all smalls okay so now let's save this and run our program there you can see our GUI let's press this Facebook button and there you can see our browser is open and facebook.com is also open okay so so great this was what I promised you at the starting of my video this was a short project where I have shown you how you can create a simple GUI web browser using Python now I am not a designer so this was a very simple GUI if you want to create somewhat a complex GUI you can use PyQt or any other GUI method but I prefer Kinter because it is very simple and it does my job very effectively. Okay, so this is it. This was a short video and I hope you like it and I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome. Okay, so meet you there. Bye-bye.